Relic play very differently. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested to see what Ally is going to do in particularly different compared to MVD. Absolutely, yeah. It's going to be really interesting. I mean, Raido, he's been so good at recovering with Duckham forever. We're going to see a lot of explosions in this matchup. Not just Snake this time supplying them. It's also going to be the can from Duck Hunt. Game one, Vicky, it's going to be on FD. Makes a lot of sense. Both these guys are going to try to control the space in front of them with their projectiles. But Raido off to an amazing start. Nearly 70, 80% already on the Snake from Ally. Yeah, already. I mean, he's not. he hasn't even taken a percent yet. Doing a really good job at maintaining stage control. Maneuvering his way around ally and you were mentioning this earlier actually before we went live what does snake do against can necessarily I mean, we're talking about you know snake taking duck hunt off stage but you got to get to that point first yeah exactly and i feel like too we're talking about ally snake like i said he's more of a brawler than he is like a, a zoner like he likes to run in he likes doing narrow to up tilt he likes fighting up close dash attack too obviously special mm -hmm. that very opposite of what we see from mbd so like yeah. you were saying vicky MVD might have had a pretty good time in this matchup, but Ally, completely different player, so let's see what he comes up with here. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing it right now. He's already at 145. You saw him do down here out of shield, of course, being uh, Snake's fastest option out of shield, too. Usually it's like frame six. And right now, this is looking like all Rido, man. I'm not surprised at all. Rido, obviously an incredible player, but here comes the offstage play. So important for Rido to get out of the situation, Vicky. And I feel like this stage in particular really does help Raido more than anything because, you know, Ally doesn't have platforms to just mix up his own landing, try to get in on Raido's space either. The thing I like of Raido's doing in neutral. Oh, oh, are you oh, serious? No way! But, yo, and, he, he, and you know what? That was really smart on Raido's part because he forced Ally to try to go for the safer option and go for the ledge and ability. But since he was so high up, Raido was ready for him with the up air. He trapped him. He, there was yep. nothing he could do at that point. If he air dodged anyway, Raido was going to cover with an up air up top. But here comes an up tilt from Snake. Not enough power yet. Good use of the, look at this, man. He's mixing them up all over the place. Breaking the ankles on the way down with Duck Hunt. Yeah, Raido is doing such a good job at just keeping Ally. I, I mean, this is the character. This is how the character is supposed to play. And he's just, his can play right now. It's just preventing Ally from getting close to him. I love that can too, the go long, you know what I mean? He sends it all the way up top, chucks the snake into it. Very nice stuff. The thing is that, oh, here we go, the disc combos. Oh, oh. Looking, for the, looking for the tray. Couldn't find it. Oh, he. That was unfortunate. If he had directional air dodge closer to the ledge, I feel like he would have been okay there. But he was just avoiding the key. I think he was scared. That's the saddest uh, fall to death sound effect ever. You know, you got the duck and the dog and just a little, the little NES sound effect. He's gonna away. take it. Oh, Ooh. perfect with that up smash right there, catching Alec and trying to dash away. Yeah, duck hunt smashes are crazy powerful, actually. So we're gonna see those come out from Rhino. Look at him just standing there, so stoic, so good. Is that back there? Oh, unfortunately, lands safely on the shield. Ally finally having Raito off stage here. Yeah, the thing that we're seeing here in neutral here comes on his way down. Good adjustment by Ally. He recognized the Nair was coming again, but he still couldn't punish it. So it's even better adjustment on Raito reacting to where Ally was. Ally is just keeping his face right here. Sees the can ready. That FBL smash the ledge. He's going to pay for it, though. That's a good option right there. Going, getting a little aggressive over the edge from Raito. Like I said, one of the best things he does with this character is recover. He's so nasty at it. He has to mix it up too, especially against a character like Snake here. For the obvious reason that we were mentioning, gets a follow up Ooh. off the can. Unfortunately, falls out of the up air. So here's the thing that I'm seeing is like, yeah, Snake has the grenade, and the great grenade's amazing, but Raido has like five projectiles in his yeah, arsenal. You know like what I'm saying? Tossing one grenade, Raido has like three things he's throwing at you all at the same time. Got a nice B reverse on that can, setting up more pressure. Raido, ally just plowing through everything. Dash attack, like you said, here comes the Nikita missile. Some pressure here. Oh, I love the dash back and dash attack right there. Yeah, that was great coverage. Kind of showing, obviously, up tilt is what everyone's looking for, but God, here comes Raido again with the offense. Standing right on the C4, that is so brave of Raido. Yeah, he's at 14%. He's like, maybe I'll just tank the hit, if anything. <laughs> but like at this percent right now, he's just playing the waiting game, not trying to go over aggressive here. Ally is at 146. He, Ally, in general, though, I feel like he's been doing a really good job at trying to at least even it out. He was at pretty big disadvantage that first stop. So you see that conversion there? Down throw at the ledge. Knew he was yeah. going to fall off a down smash. Nice bad, down smash, yep. Uh -oh. Got the Nikita ready. I like that fast fall to get onto that ledge invincibility right there from Raito. Fastball just an underrated option. I feel like it most really mid-level players don't use it enough. It's, it's in your arsenal. You've got to use it, especially when you're trying to recover against Ally Snake. There we go, though. Ally on the hunt here, trying to march his way in. Raido doing a great job keeping him out, though, and just trying to pick the right spot to end this game, Vicky. You see he's getting a little closer here, but he's not trying to overextend without the can ready for him to, to try to cover himself. Gunman can out. Dash attack, though, coming through big time. The can. Oh, it's shield poked. It's shield poked. Oh, boy, the oh, ledge. Oh, we are done. 
I can't believe Ally is alive right now. And now he's going to get to set up at the ledge. Oh, no jump. This, no is jump. The, this is the perfect setup for Ally. We have the air dodge and no. And the sound of the fall. I, this is just what you're talking about. It's the saddest. And, and notice the Nikita just applying pressure dodges by covering the space that Raito would need. But the moment he directional air dodge. He had no, that down smash he, too, reaching over the ledge. Mm. That was another issue right there. He had no outs at that point. He already used his jump. Uh, I feel like, I don't know if Can was on stage. I feel like he might have tried to use Can to defend himself, but it's just so tricky. Like we said, Snake's the key to very, very difficult to deal with if you don't have a hitbox on your up B. It's nope. just really, really hard on any of your recovery. And especially when you hit the Nikita, although the hitbox does become inactive, if you press the shield button, although the hitbox comes back and it will hit you, the knockback isn't as great, but you're still gonna be taking damage at that point. Oof, we're gonna run this one back. I feel like Raido had a firm grasp on that match, but unable to just close it out. Like we said, pressure off stage was so good uh, from Ally. I mean, he was at a disadvantage for the most part, but you know, he was doing a really good job at just closing in that gap, as we mentioned around the end there. Here you go. Game two, though. Raido was doing a really good job, and as long as he just keeps it up and keeps Ally away from the space, the can almost getting that follow-up right there. And I actually really like this, this choice of stage for Ally as well, just because now we have the platforms to mix up your landing on. You have a way to get in closer, too, without having to deal with can, which is grenades. Dash attack plowing his way through. We're seeing, this is a lot like game one, Vicky. We're seeing Rhino have a huge lead, but it doesn't matter until you take away Snake stock. And that's going to be the tricky part of the matchup for Rhino for sure. Oh, I love the patience of spot dodge into up tilt there. Yeah, that's the thing is that Ally can rack it up just as quickly as Duck on Ken with his snake. He oh, said, yeah. He's, he's a brawler with his snake. Like, he knows how to combo really well and fight I mean, really well. Some people are like, yeah, you know what? Grenade's not a big deal. Like, but grenades never stale. And because items don't stale in the game, they will always do 10%. So imagine every grenade you're going to be taking is 10.4% for you. Not only that, but if it pings off of your body, it does a decent amount. I think like 3 or 4%. Yeah. So it definitely adds up a lot over time. Parry? Oh, I thought he might up tilt, forward tilt, something there. But he went for the grab and tried to tech chase instead. Hey, you're probably looking for a forward tilt, anything by the ledge there. But Raido was not giving it to him. Instead, giving the back air. So much time to land that conversion. You see the discus, it starts uh, exploding, and then you get to follow up with the back air. Nice job by Raido. I mean, he wrote the book on these duck hug conversions. I love Ally oh, lands that, that so was much. So good. Air one into up tilt is so good. Like I said, he's a brawler, man. He's got the conversion to snake all day. I love how you could drag people down in this game of moves and just convert it into anything else, depending on what you can. Right. Yeah, and Ally definitely a creative snake when it comes to comboing. So here we go, though. Raido. I mean, both these guys are creative in their own rights with their characters. Oh, I like the air dodge behind the gunman, though. Great way to mix up your own landing. Instead of going for an aggressive option, notice he just decided to land defensively, tries to wait out Raito. It's another thing is that Ally just decided... He's a patient player overall, but especially in this matchup, you really need to watch out when, when you're shielding. Right. Rhino having a hard time. It looks like bouncing back after that game one. Like we said, it was so close. Uh, just came down to the last hit, and now in game two, it's slipping away quickly. Seeing Ally play with the lead here. Like we said, Vicky, the grenades do so much damage, not just with the explosion, but by just throwing them and hitting the other character, it does a decent amount, enough where it adds up over time. Well, definitely. Duck Hunt has some explosives of his own right here. <laughs> Can being a little bit of a problem. Oh, my, if he had read that rollback. I got to admit, the Town and City Police Department not doing a great job. There are too many explosions on it. Like, there's so much going on. <laughs> oh, no, the, the Nikita right there. Pinned on the platform, what's he got? I like how Raido opted out to go for that high recovery instead of get back onto the stage. He was not trying to, to jump in front of Ally's face. He said, just full hop out of that situation. Oh, we take that trade, though. Yeah. I think both players are actually okay with that trade. You know what I mean? I think Ally obviously would rather make it 3 1, but at the same time, getting more damage on the duck hunt is really good and keeping the pressure on Raido. But it looks like Raido's hitting a stride here with his neutral. Yeah, I definitely agree, but Raido has not had any problem racking up damage on Ally in general, too. So now with the stock lead, he really could just play patiently and just force Ally to come to him instead. Ally, I feel like he's standing at this flank and he doesn't really know what to do. Sometimes he runs in, he short hops and looks for something, or just run around and pull a grenade. Oh, oh no! We tech those. Of course. Ooh! What's he gonna do? I thought Ally might get aggressive there, honestly. He's, I was he's just that type of snake. <laughs> <laughs> like, just walk, just do it. You never know with Ally, man. Here we go. Trying to find his way in. Nope. Good use of the can there. Raido uses oh. the can to defend himself so well, not just landing from above, but also in neutral. It's so smart. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, getting punished for pulling grenade right below Raito there, too. Dash attack, too. Old reliable in this matchup for Ally. He's gonna drive it oh. right into the dog. From behind, that's I mean, a bad dog. <laughs> He's he, gonna be going he off was, stage. He was at a pretty high percent anyway, so I was not surprised that that killed. But also, like Nikita missile does get stronger the longer is out, and that's why you see him go loop for loops. Here we 
Here we go now. Filling each other out in neutral. Right always going to go with the safe cam, but nice interception there. Like I said, oh, oh God, that, dude. that was amazing. Just opting to go around that instead. Calling it out pretty hard. Let's put into that up tilt from Ally. He's done a great job holding on to like Max Rage Snake. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's really making it work out for him, extending his lead here and putting the pressure on Raido. Like, Duck Hunt does not want to have to approach or fight against oh. Snake at a close distance, but now we're seeing a tricky situation. Look at that, man. He can't even nair it. It just stays out still and stays right on top of the dog, and he is going to put that dog away. Game two going to Ally. Nice job clutching out that game one, which is so close, Vicky, and then making the proper adjustments. It looks like Raido tried to go to Town and City. Spread out the spread out the stage a little bit, get some more real estate, and just camp them out. But Ally made the adjustments uh, on the other side with his own projectile barrage, and then close out the stocks earlier too.